Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back for another. Um, I don't know what to call this. I guess just showing off what I have done for uh, some time. So you know, I assembled this tank. It's quite far away from the camera right now, but just bear with me. I'll lift it in a second. I've been uh, paint. I've painted this while ago. I just haven't had a chance to make a video to show it off. Uh, the tech marine is still unpainted. I did make a pay base for it. Um, that you may have seen, god damn it, in a few videos. And it's really nothing special, it's just muddy rocks and all that. So that's the base. I'm still planning to do some stuff for that. Depending, you know, whenever that tech marine gets done. And uh, this beast is still waiting for the magnets. So the side pontons right now, they are just attached with the... Um, what do you call it, the uh, blue tech in here. So I can just take them off, but I can't move them up and down right now. They will be magnetized. Uh, these are just attached by these uh, sponsors, so just physics, I guess. And I just want to show this bad boy off because it was a pain in the ass to paint, but I really love how it turned out. It looks freaking amazing. So I really wanted to show this off. And let's take the turret off for real quick. And I I kind of went overboard with this. But uh, I even drilled these bits. You can't see, but they are all drilled all the way through. through from the top and so on. All the, uh, uh, let's see. The bolters and the side sponsors. Everything's drilled out as it should be. And I even mudded the bottom. Like, mmm. That's what I like. I think I went a bit of overboard, but uh, I sort of like it because, uh, you know, Iron Warriors is all muddy business. But um, I've been working on something else, too, that I showed some pictures of. So let's leave that over there. And that is some terrain. Because I've been kind of sick, but um, I didn't want to choose just any terrain. Like, uh, I wanted some terrain for the miniatures, but... Um, I didn't want just uh, just any, so I figured, you know what, I, I kind of want to mix out like this homebrew thing that the buildings that I have are from the Interstellar Marines and it's just one world of many that are coming under the compliance underneath the hammer of the Olympia aka the Iron Warriors. So I started, uh, I made this one building from a uh, war game map called Resort as of my test piece and really I just kind of went over the board with it and uh, now it's fully complete I have shown some pictures and all that I tr this was just a test piece and here's the poster that I showed off that's been ripped and taken away by the wind and there are some blood splatter there somebody has died up here and really I just you know a quick piece of terrain to just try out some of the stuff. I tried to make it like a oil leak over here, but it didn't really work out. And there's some more blood splatter, and somebody just <laughs> fell down slowly against the wall and bled. Maybe went inside and all that. So that's a. I posted a few uh, on the last video about the Interstellar Marines War Games thing, just showing me starting to paint this and now what it is what I call done but um there's something else that I've been doing today too and uh let us say it's still sort of the same the Ines Marines thing and I showed some teaser pictures on my Facebook and BAM here it is uh <laughs> now it's in proper scale whereas the other one was in proper scale too but it wasn't the height wise this um i'm gonna have to lift the cam here this monolith here as you can see just compared to the size of the tank is in proper scale in every way and uh, for now i have just stopped building it here let me just uh make it easier to carry this thing so uh yeah i I decided to try some destruction with this building. So as you can see, the roof has fell off and there's some, uh, uh, what do you call these? Um, the bars, I forgot their name, but they reformed the building. And not only that, I made it so, 
you can lift the roof. It doesn't have any interior right now, but I will add some stuff into the into the bottom. But now the roof can be lifted for uh, whatever purposes. You can see some of those drafts at the bottom that were indicating where the uh, roof would be and all that jazz. So this is what I did, and uh, well, looking at like I had the initial plan that I wanted to make the various war game maps as a actual board, a one to one size, but in, in a 28 millimeter scale. But um, let's just say, looking at the size of this building, and you can see my table isn't exactly as small, or it looks small because of this freaking behemoth, but um. Uh, what should I say? Uh, it's not gonna happen. I guess I could make a campaign board in a sense. And I thought, you know, tanks couldn't do anything on this map. But uh, if you look at that thing, uh, maybe I was wrong. The tanks can absolutely do stuff. And let's say, let's take one of the uh, Bolter Boys to, for a size comparison. I mean, maybe I made it a bit too high, but yeah. Just to have a little comparison, and uh, so uh, I guess I almost have a fully. Uh, I have a table that I can play with. I just need a few pieces of some terrain, and I'm all done. Oh, Reba! This was called Reba. Uh, this thing, on the other hand, I'm not gonna be painting anytime soon because, uh, let's say, um, the smaller building. This one over here, you can see it's kind of dirty and all that. That's uh, half of my Athrax uh, Earth Shade splattered all over it. And uh, if I were to do the same thing on this building, oof, I'm gonna have to mix some of my own. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be a bitch. So it's going to take a while before I finish this, but it's going to get, uh, well, not as much sand as this one, but it's going <laughs> to it's gonna look dirty, but it's going to take a lot of stuff to do stuff. It's almost the size of a freaking kill board. Like this building on its own with some terrain over by the tank, it could be a kill team board on its own when it gets the interior and all that. But, um... Yeah, this is just what what I want to show you, my tank and all that. And uh, in a few days, I should get some more miniatures, maybe hopefully tomorrow. And uh, yeah, so there's going to be unboxing coming soon. Looking forward for it. And that means I will finally get to paint this asshole over here, who's still waiting for his paint. And oh, there are the heavy bolters. And here are the rest of the squad who last week decided to go for a kill team and they lost horribly. So, the luck with the dice was terrible. Might go for some tomorrow unless I get the new miniatures, in which case I'm going to be starting painting them. No idea where I'm going to store this because it's one piece technically, aside from the roof. And, uh, yeah, because, you know, trying to keep the... It's going to be a interesting... <laughs> Because I need to keep this away from these little dudes. Say hi to the camp, Pat. <laughs> the fuck? And that will be all for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, whatever video this is. Oh, and here's a time lapse of me actually doing this beast. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. Oh.